is the MacBook Pro, and here's a real day in the life review. I'm gonna edit this entire video on this computer. Hopefully my future self does not regret that decision. And I'm also in this video gonna teach myself how to code something because I feel like a lot of reviews only focus on like the content creation video making aspect, kind of like forgetting the fact that most people actually aren't content creators that are making videos. And so I wanna test the computer in a multitude of different scenarios that I think people are actually going to be doing in their daily life, like web browsing, multitasking, Excel, documents, programming, and also the battery life throughout all of that. But first, and I think the most important goal, is to go get a cold brew. Can I please have a cold brew with almond milk? Thank you so much. It's really good. So with the new M2 MacBook Pro, this is the 14 inch. So this is the one that starts at $19.99. And that also means it starts at 512 gigabytes, which honestly, I think is a little bit problematic. Like in 2023, I feel like 512 gigabytes is not enough storage for the majority of people, especially if you plan to keep your computer for a long period of time. Last year's MacBook Pro with the M1 launch was like the big launch. So that was the design overhaul, obviously Apple Silicon, which made a huge difference. The people that still have the M1 are probably not gonna be upgrading to the M2. But if you're coming from Intel like I am, I think the main things that you'll notice immediately is built-in Touch ID is up Updated. The keyboard is also updated. The overall frame of the computer, because the bezels are thinner, is now smaller, so it's more portable. I feel like somewhat of a clown walking around with a computer out because my backpack is over full. But the 14 inch is actually like the ideal form factor. Like I feel like it's light and it's movable. That one less inch from the 15 inch and also the fact the bezels are smaller and it's overall just a more ergonomic design, makes this much easier to carry on the go. Also, another thing that I personally love over my current computer is that it has a built-in SD card slot, and then it also has the ability to be charged via MagSafe as well. I feel like the biggest area of change though this year is actually in performance from M1 to M2. So to kind of put that to the test, I'm gonna attempt to learn how to code right now. This is the beginning of the rest of my life. The way they laid this out is actually high key, very smart. On the left side, it gives you what your goal is, and then what commands and types of things you should do. So it starts you out at like a basic, like you don't understand anything about coding yet level. And then it slowly progresses. And on the right side, it shows you visually what the commands you're typing in are actually accomplishing. So you could be like, instead of just seeing the thing move command, you know that when you type that in, the little guy moves. So my goal right now is to find the bugs and fix them. This is level number three. It says run the code to see where the mistake occurs, then identify the command that's in the wrong place, and then press the command to select it, drag the command to the correct location. All right, so I'm gonna run the code. The goal is to get the gem, but he avoid he missed it. I wonder if I can just like delete, can I? Oh, okay, cool. I think it's, let's see if this is right. I'm gonna run this and we'll see. Ooh, I think it has to be one higher. Collect gem, moves forward. Turns left. Oh, this is gonna be off. Move forward. This is definitely not right. This is gonna give us one step closer to what is right. Okay, so he moves forward, moves forward, turn left. He got the gem. So that part is right. So now we need him to move forward again and then turn on the switch. This one should be the code. That is correct. Turns on the switch. Amazing. It's funny because if any coders are watching this video, I feel like you're gonna be like, this is the most basic stuff in the world. But there's this idea that like what's new and novel to one person feels incredibly basic to someone else, like video editing for the first time or something. Like, oh, that's simple to me because I've been doing it for so long. But like that first cut is so monumental in the rest of the career in the same way that I'm, while I was talking, I missed the entire thing that happened, so I'm gonna have to rerun this, but in the same way that like getting a small win on Swift Playground is exciting to me, it's exciting to someone else when they start editing, and I feel like the whole thing is like just a start. And ultimately, computers, like MacBook Pros, any laptop, is just a tool to enable starting. And so when we get like better performance, or um, a better display, or better battery life, all that's really doing is just enabling the opportunity to learn and get entertained, etc. At the end of the day, it's just a tool to provide value. Going over to the bookstore. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. How are you? Great to see you. I love the bar, like obsessed. And a little maple latte, I'm literally texting one of my friends right now who's obsessed with maple lattes. Like, there are maple lattes here. Okay, I'm starting to edit. And in Final Cut, there's this option to either have better performance or better quality while you're editing. I'm gonna start on the better quality mode and we'll see if that lasts. Okay, the edit so far is going incredibly well. I'm editing 4K footage. And so when I do a video edit, I always start with like the story rough cut. So that's like laying out all the footage and figuring out like, 
what narrative is going to get cut, etc. So right now it's just a single line timeline. It's going really well. It's on quality mode and there aren't really that many hiccups. I am incredibly impressed. My computer was like $4,000 a couple years ago and this right now is holding up as well as that. So I'm going to keep editing and see what happens. 756 and the battery is currently at 22%. This is Final Cut Pro is a thing using significant energy. 836 and the battery life is officially at 7%. So I'm gonna plug it in so I can keep editing. Truly, I am incredibly impressed by the performance. Like M2 is seriously magnificent, especially on a baseline computer. Okay, this is your MacBook Pro video quality webcam test. Definitely better than in the past, but it's crazy to me that the MacBook Pro still doesn't have an incredible webcam. But overall, the computer is genuinely excellent. Like, I think that they've killed it on build, on the display. And for performance, like for editing this very intensive video, where I normally use a 16 inch computer, it did perform pretty well. And this is also the baseline version of the computer. Like, you can really spec this up. I genuinely was like so enthused by it today so that's my take if you want to watch another day in life review you can click right here thanks so much for watching this one and i'll catch you in the next one bye